as a bass player, you're very rarely in the limelight. You're usually sitting either to the side or to the back and you're not in the center stage. Musically, it's the same thing. You're underpinning the sounds that the rest of the orchestra are making. It's the most fantastic feeling, just being able to provide even the most simplest of bass lines and then having that whole complex layer of different sounds on top. I've been in the London Symphony Orchestra bass section for a long time, 25 years now, 24 years. It's a very varied life. We spend a lot of time doing concerts at the Barbican Hall, and we spend a lot of time going on tour. We're going to various places next week. Other times we are in studios. Yesterday we were recording some film music of Alexandre Desplat. Never a dull moment, basically, is how my day-to-day -day life is. And then, of course, a lot of the time we're working with kids doing education work with the LSO Discovery Department. When I first started playing the double bass, I was 12. I'd been a very bad cellist before like that. I wasn't very good. My teacher said, stop playing the cello. My first concert was playing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, which is one of the most difficult pieces you can play on the double bass. It's really, really hard. So there I was on stage in Shrewsbury, trying to play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. I couldn't really play it at all. But it was very exciting, because I loved playing with all those people around me and this audience watching me. It feels nerve-wracking at the same time, really fun. That's the right answer. That's what, that's what I feel all the time. It's the same. It's nerve-wracking, but it's really good fun. I often meet people when I go front of house in the interval of a concert and talk to people who may, it may be their first time at a concert. They say, well, I'm not sure about classical music, I don't understand it. And I say, well, I don't really understand it that much either, but I just really love playing it. And I love the sounds that, that we get involved with and relax about understanding it, just enjoy the sounds. Maybe some of the sounds you won't enjoy, but there'll be some that you are just, just take you and really sweep you away with, with the excitement of it, you know. So just sit back and relax and take what comes. Most of the year we are in the Barbican, which is a, it's a great concert hall, but it's so different coming and playing in a situation like this where anybody can just wander through and turn up and be a part of it. And after last year's concert, I was cycling to work the next day on the other side of the city. And at a junction I stopped and this person walked up and said, oh, you were playing in the concert last night. God, it was such an amazing occasion. And that is fantastic that somebody can just have wandered in and then recognise you the next day and says how much they enjoyed themselves. So yes, Trafalgar Square, what a, what a fantastic place to do a concert on a day like this. Couldn't be better. Backstage before a concert, you're usually just sorting out, making sure you've got everything, you've got the right clothes on, you've got your clothes on. I often walk on the stairs and think, have I got my trousers on? I don't know why that occurs to me, but it does sometimes. You just worry, you know, the things, you know, you stand up and you think, are my trousers undone? And I think, oh. Those sort of things are concerning, <laughs> particularly if you're at the front of the stage. What we love in this orchestra is getting onto the stage and producing a really vital performance there live and, you know, inspirational. That's what we like to go for.